be on your page, right? Correct. Yes. Uh -huh. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, we'll wait a few seconds here to see if we get some people to log in here uh, before we get started um, okay. here on the, on well, what is this Thursday today? I was for for whatever reason I woke up this morning thinking it was Friday. <laughs> Me too. So did I. I was so lost. I didn't. We had to check into our flight really early. We're leaving tomorrow morning, and I was like, "What is today? Friday? Thursday? I don't know what day it is." So I'm lost too. It's 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 crazy. It's crazy. Here we go. Let me share this on my page. There we go. Awesome. 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 Well, everyone that's out there that's just starting to log in right now, um, we uh, like to welcome Destiny Nevada back to the show. Uh, we're doing a very special uh, Facebook live broadcast today just to uh, get the, the brand new album that she has out, the new single. She's got her latest and all the other good stuff that's happening with her. Um, again, welcome back to Houston's Tejano Hits and the Keith Leon Radio Show. We are honored to have you again on the show, you know, like we have previously in the past. Welcome. Thank you, Keith, so much for the invitation. And, um, you know, we, it's funny, when we were with Remedio, you know, we were always in the Houston area. We were all, we were all around Texas. And, you know, starting my career as a solo artist, I, I was expecting to do the same, but then when the pandemic hit and everything, it just kind of took me a different route. So I'm just so happy to be connecting with the people of Texas, you know, through technology. Thank God for technology. Oh, yeah. And thank God for, you know, us being able to do things like this because it really is just so important to me to, to be able to speak to you guys, people who support our music and, and people who are supporting me as a solo artist. Um, it's been a great, adventure so far and you guys have you know been anybody who's interested and, and wants to share my music to me it's an honor so thank you guys so much hi you're welcome it's an, it's an honor to have you again on the show and we appreciate you for taking the time to uh, be with us today to share your music with the world um well let's start you know by uh, bringing everybody up to speed you know uh on how and uh i mean where you are today basically i mean how did you get to where you're at today you know um yeah, so in 2018, um, we were touring with Grupo Remedio, my dad, Raulito, that was, you know, his group and me and my brother kind of backed him up. We did our, we have two CDs as Grupo Remedio. And, um, you know, and during that, the end of that year, I started writing songs and I, I just really felt like it was coming more from a woman's perspective, more from me. And, and you know, I spoke to my dad and I spoke to my brother and I kind of told him, I think I'm ready to do my own thing. I always saw myself as a solo artist. You know, Remedio definitely gave me the experience on the road, the experience of being in an actual band, keeping a band together, having to find musicians and things like that. And um, so I think I was just ready to kind of spread my wings. And, you know, gracias a Dios, I have such a great family. They've supported me in everything that I do. My brother, um, you know, he is his own talent. Um, he sings, he plays, he writes just like I do. And um, for him to back me up, you know, that was something really, really important to me. And he's with me all the time. And so, um, yeah, so we started my solo career. I recorded La Preferida, that album between 2019 and we released it 2020 when the pandemic uh, started. So a lot of things, you know, that we were going to do, we weren't able to do. But as I was releasing La Preferida, I decided to take my music across the border to Mexico. We started in Monterrey, Nuevo León, which has always been La Segunda Casa de la Familia Navaira. My uncle and my dad are a staple, a household name there. And um, they, they welcomed me with open arms. And, and so I actually got the opportunity during the pandemic to move to Monterrey. And so I've been there almost two years. In September, it'll be two years that we've been there. Awesome. And in that time, we've recorded another record and um, Dime Como Se Siente is now out on all digital platforms. And I'm just so very proud and so very thankful um, for the opportunities that I've had. I want to give a big shout out to um, my manager, Josette Ramos, uh, Josette Torres, I'm sorry, who has um, just really been there from day one with me. Um, she's seen me, you know, I know people know that I've also been kind of through a transformation physically. Mm -hmm. um, I, I lost a lot of weight within these four years and she's been there literally, um, believed in me since day one to now and, and just wow. a great support and I'm really living my dream and, uh, you know, sometimes when I get upset or something doesn't go my way, that's, that's what I remember, uh, you know, think about five years from now, where you right, want right, to be right. and, and you're here, you know, so. Yeah. 
So definitely just so grateful, such an honor and um, very excited for the future and, and what's to come. Definitely. And you're, and you're doing very well. You know, like I said, going back to your first album, La Preferida was with your album cover right there uh, yes. from, from uh, you know, your debut album. Uh, your second one, which is currently out right now, you know, Dime Como Se Siente, which this this album right here, uh, you, you know, not that you didn't do outdo yourself on the first album. This second one right here is full of surprises. <laughs> got all yeah. kinds of good stuff on that album. Thank you. Well, you you know, you learn as you go. Um, the first album, I was actually working a full time job and doing the album. So, you know, um, I had a lot of I had kind of one musician doing everything for me. So I, there I was back and forth between San Antonio and Houston. I didn't have as much say as I did in Dime Como Se Siente because I was actually present the whole time. Um, during the drums, during the bass, during the accordion, guitar. Um, so you learn, you know, as you as you make the albums, you learn what the engineers are listening for. You learn what you like to do. You learn what you need to do when you're singing, when, you know, you're adding uh, vocal backgrounds and things like that. So I've learned so much just in these two years about making an actual record. Um, I think that you can really hear it in Dime Como Se Siente, like you said, it's... Um, it is Tejano because I that's who I am, but at the same time, we played with a lot of the genres of Mexico. <laughs> and to me, that's what really classifies it as Tejano music. Um, it's that mixture of Mexican culture and the Texas culture as well. Yes, definitely, definitely. It's, uh, and congratulations mm -hmm. on that second album that you have out. Thank you know, you. It's doing very well. There's a song on there um, that we'll, we'll touch bases on here as we continue to go through here uh, on that. Like I said, it's full of, full of, full of surprises. Well, let's just talk about it right now. You're hearing this, what you're here for, you know what I mean? <laughs> let's talk about the one you did here. Yeah. You know, from Bronco, you know, it's, it's, it was an amazing song. You got a lot of requests here for it in Houston. Um, talk a little bit about that song and how did that come together? So that song, um, we had actually written it after we had finished the album, Dime Como Se Siente. We were outside and we were kind of playing. You know, I was so inspired and I just told Rigo, let's start writing. And that song kind of came out and I um, I talked to my producer, Alfonso Herrera, and I said, you know, I want to sing this as a duet, but I want to sing it with somebody different. Um, you know, I was thinking Jesse Turner, but I was like, he's already got the thing with Elida. You know, I, I I wanted something different, and he knows I'm a super Bronco fan, my producer, and luckily he's very good friends with La Familia Esparza. And uh, he said, well, let's ask Jose. Let's ask Jose. Let's just see what he says. And I was like, no, if he says no, I'm going to cry. <laughs> but, um, you know, he said yes. He loved the song. And um, to me, you know, I really completed one of my dreams to record with one of my favorite groups. Um, and also, you know, to make that video, the video that we made, um, we kind of talked, me and Jose there, and how, you know, we're kind of doing the similar, a similar thing. We're carrying out our family's legacies in the music. He continues to do his music with his father, Lupe Esparza, the Grupo Bronco. And, you know, I continue to do the music as far as, you know, keeping the Nevada name alive in the Tejano world. And so we really related on that level. It was a, an amazing experience. He's a these people have played worldwide. They played in front of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, and they are just so down to earth. So I just, un saludo para la familia Esparza, um, great friends of ours, and, and I've just been so blessed. Like I said, it, it was one of my dreams come true to record um, one of my songs with one of somebody from my favorite group. So love the song, and I'm so happy that people got to hear it. I think everyone was surprised when they saw him come out with his with his uniform and his bronco and uh it just i lived for it i loved it and just all the response that we got back i was just so happy and so grateful and that's the focus track of um this album dime como se siente which again was a surprise we recorded it right at the end and um it was just again another a dream come true for me wonderful that is awesome that is awesome you know uh right now you know like like it stands you know what would you say or what would you say right now, like any challenges you faced along the road? How how smooth has the road been for you from day one till now? You know, any challenges, if any, that you had to face? Well, I think right now um, the biggest challenge I face is uh, shows. Um, you know, I, I was so used to playing every weekend with Remedio and then the pandemic hit and we, we couldn't do that. And then when things started opening back up, 
I was already known as Destiny because La Preferida had already been out. Um, a lot of the times, you know, when we're playing or when they call us for gigs, it's like, well, can Raulito come too? And, you know, is Raulito going to be there? And that kind of thing was kind of the first, you know, response that we got back when we were trying to play shows. So for me, that was a struggle. Um, and not that I don't want my dad there. It's right. it's never that. I, I love having him on the road. But it's also, you know, it's time for me to establish myself. And of course, when he wants to come on, like we did in Houston that night, um, yes. a special appearance. That's He's worked so hard to be who he is and to have the name and, and the repertoire that he does. And, and it's time for him to sit back and relax. And, and, you know, I think that's really been the struggle for me. It's as a woman, it's hard already um, to be in this industry and to play the normal shows that guys book. There's not a lot of girls. Uh, you see festivals and, and things like that. And it's mostly guys on the, on the lineup. On the lineup, right. And, right. and um, so I'm, I think that's my biggest challenge right now is getting out there, performing live. Um, that's, I thought that was gonna be the way I started my career. Um, but you know, God took things another way for me. And maybe it's just that he wants me to record more original music uh, first before I get out there. And, and that's how the people are gonna know me. I don't know. But um, I think that's the biggest challenge for me so far has been the shows and, and slowly but surely things are opening up. I'm very, the plans that I have with my music, I, I just, I wanna reach different goals. Um, I wanna do bigger and better things than we're doing in this genre right now because we deserve that. Our music, um, not, and I'm not just talking about our music, I'm talking about Tejano in general. Mm -hmm. uh, the artists, have, they deserve so much. We were at Nortex this past weekend in Monterrey and literally the whole arena was full. There was 70,000 people there. And, you know, I got to talk to the Palominos, another one of my favorites. And I just said, it makes me so happy to see you guys play in front of these crowds because this is what you guys deserve. This is, to me, this music, deserves this these people every night and um like i said it's just it's a challenge but i know that this work is going to pay off and I, patience is a virtue i'm very very <laughs> trying to work on my patience to get back out there and, and you know again start playing live but um that's probably been the biggest challenge for me and and of course you know what comes with the hair and the makeup and and everything like that that's that's always something and i'm not a girly girl i had to throw this together right now and uh i'm not used to it <laughs> i have i have somebody in mexico to do this stuff for me so i'm like oh my god i forgot how to do my makeup and stuff <laughs> so um but yeah you know challenges are are always going to be there i think but it's been again very rewarding to work so hard and and to see the progress that we've made as far as destiny and, and my group and my brother. Right. How, how's, uh, you know, first of all, I didn't get to check out that show when your dad made a special appearance there in, here in Houston. Uh, it's been not, not too long ago, several months back, and uh, it was a great show. You guys, you. you guys nailed it. You guys kicked some butt over there. You know, Palominos were along the way as well. Yes. Um, it, it was just outstanding. It was out. But to see for the very first time, you guys put a hell of a show on. I, Thank I, you. I appreciate it. And and I think, you know, that's what it's going to take. Little little by little, people seeing me live. You know, again, the Nevada name, uh, it's a blessing. To me, it's always a blessing. But in the music world, you know, they think automatically, oh, she's going to sing Emilio songs. Oh, she's going to do this. And um, it's, it's just, that's not what I'm doing. And until they hear me, I think you know, after they hear me, then they're like, oh, okay, she's, you know, she's got her her show. And 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 that's what we're trying to show the people right. of Texas as well as the people of Mexico. Yes, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, Como Se Siente is your latest album right now. A new single, uh, Si No, si no Fue Amor, right? Mm -hmm. Si No Fue Amor. It's your, your new single that's uh, out in the airwaves all over Texas and beyond uh, throughout radio. Uh, internet radio, wherever you want to hear. Tell me a little bit about that song. Well, at the at the tail end of this interview, we're going to play that for everyone out there that wants to hear it. Uh, you know, that wants to take a you know a chance to listen. They haven't heard it yet. But it'll be uh, how do you say it? Um, they'll get a chance to listen to it. You know. Yes. So, so Sino Fue Amor. Um, we did this most the majority of these songs on Dime Como Se Siente. We during the pandemic in June of 2020, we went to Colorado. Um, to record demos, my manager, she rented a house out there in the mountain and we just really needed to get out. We were we were going crazy because we were locked up and we didn't really know what was gonna happen. And 
he said, let's, let's get out of here. And we had already been working on songs. So we went to Colorado and this was one of the songs that we laid down over there. Um, I wrote it, my brother, um, along with Lalo Morales and Cesar Morquecho. And, uh, you know, as we were experimenting with the other songs, as far as like rhythms and things, I wanted to keep, of course, at least two songs, three songs that were traditional Tejano. And so this melody was just so strong to me. And I, I, I really felt just, we need the, the hard snare hit, the ranchera beat the whole time. And I think it came out great. I love the, you know, the story, the words are very deep. Cesar Morquecho um, really is a great songwriter. He's helped me on a lot of my stuff. He's actually a co-writer on the Bronco song as well with me. And um, I love, I just, I really love it. And we shot the video um, back in, in July, in July at, in Monterrey at People's Room Studios, which is the studio where I record in Monterrey. And my producers come out in the video, Alfonso Herrera and Manuel Herrera, who are, they were also my uncle's producers. Um, they won a Grammy, my, they won a Grammy with my uncle back in 2002. So there's just so much history. And in the video, you see the Grammy, you see, you know, the Tejano Music Awards that we won. And, and I just really wanted to capture the nostalgia of the studio. So many, amazing people have recorded there and I've, I'm so privileged to be part of the Uni Music family and, and to be a part of that studio. Um, but Sino Famor, you know, I think I really wanted to keep it simple. I wanted people to listen to the song and not do so much of a glam and a story and things like that. So, so far so good. We've got a good response on YouTube. Um, if you haven't seen the video, it's on my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, I love this song. I think, I think, I think we needed to get back to the Tejano style after the first couple of, um, you know, singles that we released. Uh, we just wanted to show people that I am, you know, I have a little bit of everything on this album and, and it really is who I am. Um, I, I can do the mariachi, I can do this, the ballads, but I can also, you know, do the rancheras that the people want to dance to. So this is one of those songs and um, I really, really have enjoyed pushing it and, and, and hearing it, you know, and, and seeing people um, love the love the beat. I want to dance and things like that. That's 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 always great to see. Yes, wonderful that is, and it definitely is. You know, when you're out there on stage, from your all's point of view, up there to see people dancing to the stuff that you have out. You know, I'm sure it's a great feeling. Yeah. Um, is the Rigo is the Rigo there with you? He is. Let me see if he'll come out. <laughs> it's not, it's not it, it's cool, but I mean, maybe hopefully throughout the end of it, um, did he does he have an acoustic with him available? There he is. There I am. How's it going? Does he you What's have a no, it's all good here in Houston. How's everything over in San Antonio? Everything's great, man. We're just getting ready for this weekend. Uh, we're playing in Ohio with uh, two bands. We have uh, La Casetera that we're going to do a little medley with, and uh, Ivan and Fuego, we're going to do a little, a uh, couple songs with them as well. Awesome. That's going to be wonderful to be checking out out there. So people out yeah, there gonna, gonna, that are watching right now, uh, you know, hey, check these guys out. They're going to be out there. Yeah, we're going to be out there uh, Friday and Saturday. And then, uh, yeah, we're, we'll follow Destiny on all social medias, myself included, uh, on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok too. We're uh, starting. I'm starting the TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. It's, so <laughs> we're getting ready. We're getting ready for everything, and uh, we're excited. And we just like to thank you again for the opportunity for for also sharing our music. Uh, you know, because without you, I mean, nobody would would hear us. You know, so <laughs> especially in Houston. Yeah, especially right. out there in Houston. So we like to thank you again, brother. From from the bottom of our heart, you're welcome. You know what I mean. You guys are always welcome on the show, studio, whatnot. You know, we're, we're going to accept you guys with open arms. You know what I mean. I see you guys got some some a lot of great stuff under your belt already. So and you guys are just knocking them down one by one. So continue, mm -hmm. continue to do what you guys are doing. You know, uh, stay blessed. Of course, you know. Um, do, I want before we go, I do definitely want you guys to do a little piece, or somebody's gonna sing something for us. Yeah, yeah. All right, you, you go. go for it. You have a, uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, I think so. Right. Um, and I also just wanted to mention that we're also so proud. Um, this year we've submitted. Dime como se siente to the Latin Grammy. So um, right now it's it's for consideration uh, for best album Tejano. And really, I just want to get nominated so I could go. <laughs> I just want to go to Las Vegas and and you know see the stars. And and it's just you know it's been like I said a dream. We submitted La Preferida last year, and um, I really wasn't expecting anything. But this year, you know, we've been a little bit more integrated. 
as far as the music business goes and different people, producers and engineers and things like that. So I just want to say thank you to everybody for all the support. Um, like I said, it's it's a dream um, to be to even have an album to submit to the Grammys, to the Latin Grammys, to even have the opportunity to do that. Um, it's, it's something that I feel like I always knew I wanted to do. And it was a responsibility that I held growing up the way I did and deciding to do this career. If I was gonna do it, I knew I wanted to do it big. And um, we're just so excited and hopeful um, for everything. But I just wanna say thank you. And to everybody, you know, to all the artists who are submitting, you know, that's the beauty of it that to keep this genre alive and bring it back to the American Grammys. Um, we used to have our own category, Tejano music, and now, you know, it's not. And hopefully with all the new artists coming out that we can bring that back. Um, that's my goal as as a pioneer in the newer generation of right, right. Musica Tejana. Um, that's one of my goals is to bring that category back and bring this back to the mainstream we deserve. Again, it's it's there's so much talent out there. Um, and, and I think we just need to be aware of the music that's coming out, the quality, the you know, originality, um to to for us in order for us to have that. 90s nostalgia that everybody still lives for we've got to keep writing new songs and so that those songs can live forever too um and that's that's again my goal as a songwriter and as an artist but i just want to say thank you so much to everybody my producers um my group just everybody who has supported me and fingers crossed we'll be in las vegas in november <laughs> yes, awesome that's wonderful i would love to check that out also you know um social media sites how can everybody that's listening out there Get a hold of you. The vi did you so on the song right now that you have your current single? Did you release a video yet on that? Yes, that one's on YouTube already. See no from what, um, and on all my social medias, it's just at Destiny Navida on every platform, um, as well as all my music is on all digital platforms. So if you guys haven't heard the new albums or the first album, a lot of people don't know I had a, that La Preferida. Mm -hmm. So um, check out my music under Destiny Navida. And again, we're just so excited to be coming up with new material. We are um, going to be working on a third CD now. Um, we're in the works of demos and things like that. I've already got about 15 to 20 songs that we've written and we're gonna start selecting, you know, which ones we want and things like that. And um, just so excited to keep going. And, and like I said, um, I've, I've gotten so much opportunities. This Cantame Fest that we're doing this weekend is a big thing. And um, just spreading our music wherever we can. So, por favor, sigue en todas las redes sociales, Destiny Navaira. Check out all my videos on YouTube. All of my singles have videos. So, I've got a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So, check it out. And um, please subscribe as well. Subscribe because we're always coming out with new stuff. And again, I just appreciate everybody so much. And um, yeah. Follow us and, you know, we'll be back in Texas pretty soon. I'm working on a couple of dates. Hopefully in October, we'll be back in Texas and hopefully in the Houston area pretty soon. Yes, that'll be great. Yeah, definitely. And so once again, you know, uh, we appreciate you and, uh, you know, you and your brother as well for taking the time to uh, be with us here today on Houston's Tejano Hits, my live Facebook page here with the Keith Dad Radio Show. Um, it's always great to have you guys on there to share your music and uh, and catch up with an artist and see what is up and what, you know, is what what's up and coming. Uh, what's down the road, what uh, uh, projects you guys are working on, where you're going to be performing at, because, you know, the listeners out there like to know a lot of that stuff, you know, right. and, and it's always great to have, you know, the artist on here, which we do a lot of here at this at this uh, internet station. We try to yes. get some artists out there, you know, to uh, to share everything with the world. So um, uh, before we let you go, we want to throw Rigo on oh. the, under the bus here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to do um, a little bit of the new single, Si No Fan Mode, before everybody hears it here. Awesome. Um, because God has bought him here, so let's <laughs> do the chords. Si no fue amor, dime que fue, fue diversión, solo placer. Porque le di mi corazón a una persona que se experta en causar dolor. Si no fue amor, dime que fue, por qué razón fuiste tan cruel. Yo me entregué sin condición, eso me pasa por creer. everybody out there thank you so much please check out the new song the new album dime como se siente también están todas las plataformas digitales saluditos a todos de houston texas to everybody um 
on your on your Facebook live. Saludos to everybody saying hi. Um, I love you guys so much and I appreciate all the support. And thank you again, Keith, for the invitation. Whenever you guys need me, whenever you you guys need anything, we're here. Awesome. We appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. Best of luck to you. Good luck to you guys at the show this weekend. Uh, it was a Cantame Fest in, you said Ohio? Ohio. Maumee, Ohio. Awesome. So everybody out there that's uh, watching, if you're going to be in that area, in that neck of the woods, go out there and check these guys out there. I believe they said uh, Ivani Fuego and another group you guys are going to be doing some uh, appearances mm -hmm. work out there. So as to make some plans, if you're going to be in that area, if you're listening from that area, hey, go out there and check them out. If you haven't seen her, she's got an action-packed show. Um, <laughs> ready for you guys to go out and it's going to be a show of shows so hey go out there and spend some time destiny to buy it out there once again destiny we're going to play your song here we will talk to you uh next time we'll, we'll, we'll welcome you back again in the future best of luck to you on the uh the new album that you're currently working on as well uh from all the staff here at houston keep doing what you're doing and uh, you guys stay blessed all right thank you so much keith we love you guys thank you <laughs> Si estás una 